And then in the far back, it's all the technology providers. Hi, I'm Miguel. And I'm Garrett. And you're watching IMAX Episodes. And this is where you get to experience firsthand what it's like to participate in IMAX America. And in this episode, we're looking at event technology and how it makes events better. All right, let's go check it out. What are some of the coolest gadgets that you have here? One of my personal favorites is this, which is the Active 5. It's a full body workout. You know, hold it in this position. So down, okay. And then we're gonna start the exercise. All right, press, 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 press. Don't lock your fingers, you're cheating. Hit the dots, hit the dots. Oh, control, the control, there you go. Really great wellness tool. Well, thanks for bringing all these cool gadgets to IMAX. We're gonna continue in the tech zone. Well, we help expand the reach of the event to get more people to the event. So Snowball is about snowballing the message through the influencers who are part of the event initially, like speakers, the exhibitors, attendees. What we have just unveiled is event gamification by using a special set of tools to be fully compliant with GDPR. It's the data management which is, goes beyond the app itself, makes it more streamlined and bridging the gap between digital and event marketing. So solutions for influencer marketing, gamification under the new privacy laws, and innovative data management platforms. So we have 11 more of these tech tastings coming up next, so pay attention. Next up, we're gonna look at solutions for tracking attendees, smarter buying power, and actually getting answers from Q&A sessions. It makes it where we can pull up dashboards so you can see where your attendees are actually going within the event and you can tell if you're doing CE credits or anything like that, then you'll actually be able, they'll be able to check in and see that. We're providing you transparency into all of your events and surfacing all of the data up onto an easy widget. Because sometimes when people are listening to the conference or let's say the meeting, um, they might not get the answers. So let's say now that we have the answers reading, uh, answers available, they can actually go into the platform and look at the answers too. So that way they can bring back what the answers are and it might be more fulfilling for them too. So Miguel, what did we find next? Well, we found some event management in virtual reality. We found some chatbots that help the attendees stay informed. And we found some event management software that makes life easy. So she's grabbing all the items she needs and creating a diagram really quickly. After she finishes doing that, she can see how the event looks in real time in 3D in VR. You can actually pop up what we call a conversation extension into SMS and see something like, what are all my schedules, right? So for a show like IMAX, so without having to download a new app or learn a new technology, you can have all the same features. Yo guys, can we get some privacy? Otherwise it's gonna get, take really long. The way it makes it better is that the attendees are gonna go through a much more streamlined approach in the way that they can attend the meeting. For the conference organizers, they're gonna be able to be much more organized. Garrett, what did we find next? Well, we discovered that you only get one chance to make a first impression and how you should do that properly with event tech. And it's notable that the customization of your digital event tools has become a lot more easy. Putting your best foot forward uh, from the very beginning of the event. So not having people wait in long lines, being able to streamline that process, get them into the event and get them to really appreciate why they're there. We actually are releasing what's called Project Flex. It's a totally re-envisioned, re-imagined version of our registration process. See screens that you see behind you, but it's allowing for a totally customizable workflow, very drag and drop, very exciting stuff. It would be much easier to implement many different features to engage our audience, like live polls, survey, gamification, all together in the same platform. Nice. So the last two that we have are all about voice. So check them out. Voice comments. As a speaker, you just Launch poll, display poll. So the idea is to bring the event planner closer to the content. We replace translation equipment in conferences and we have remote interpreters. You can provide multiple languages without having interpreters on site at all. And everybody can understand it, their own language. Wow, what a lot of cool innovative event technology we've discovered just there. I see smoke coming out of my ears. Crazy, 14 different companies, technologies, products. I am like in the clouds. Yeah, and that what better way to end this than in the C2 Cloud Lab? Because this is officially not only the end of episode eight, it's also the end of the IMAX episodes for this year's. Miguel, how do you look back at this? 
it's been fun. It's been really fun making these IMAX episodes. I hope you enjoyed watching them. And if you'd like to tell us where you're watching from, just let us know in the comments. And we look forward to seeing you again uh, some other edition of IMAX America. Exactly. Thank you very much. It was a great honor, a great pleasure. And we hope to see you next time. See you soon.